how he do it here with some more helpful hints. All right, folks, I'm in the middle of this construction of this bathroom. As you can see down here, I got tile, saws, and everything in between. So today's tip is how do you get smooth edges on tile that's kind of acceptable for use? Well, the problem is everyone's like, get a wet saw, get a wet saw. Wet saws are nice and they create great clean edges. The problem is I've been working on this project for like two weeks. So it's not realistic for me to rent a wet saw. It's going to cost me too much and I don't want to spend $300 on one. So instead I just bought a tile blade for my chop saw but it still leaves little chips. So what I'm gonna show you today is what your best friend is in a tile project. And it is a must have for um, small detail work. Let's get to it. All right, you can see here, I'm getting ready to make a cut on my saw. And I'll show you the finished product after the cut is complete. So as you can see, it's kind of rough. So the question is, how do I fix this? How do I get this edge to be acceptable for putting in my bathroom? You can see the little chips. So the secret is da -da 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 -da, a Dremel with a diamond um, blade. So I've got this Dremel with a diamond blade, and I'm going to show you how you can easily smooth out the edges on your tile. So as you can see, I basically took the tile and I put a little 45 degree on the edge of the tile and it takes the chips away. So that's all there is to it. Get that Dremel, um, it's about $40, $50, diamond blade. Um, but the nice thing is you'll have a tool that you can use over and over. Um, and I'll tell you what, this thing, the Dremel has saved me a million times in this project and um, from an investment standpoint, way better than renting a tile saw um, because by the time I rented it for so many days, I'd end up buying it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. This is how he do it, out.